There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome to another random DOS game show. And today, we see a helicopter. This is Tuffle on approaching flight zone. Oh my. Well, you know what? We're going to skip this cutscene. Because this, once it loads, is Cannon Fodder. Now, Cannon Fodder is a game by Sensible Software, the people responsible for Sensible Soccer and Sensible World of Soccer. And published by Virgin, and exceedingly popular here in the UK back in the early 90s. And you can hear the lovely MT32 score. And uh, let's just get started, I guess. So, we have a hill on some green and pleasant land. And our recruits are coming through. Jules, Jops. And that's it, apparently. Just Jules and Jops. Mission 1. The Sensible Initiation. It's a jungle out there. Phase one of one. With two soldiers, you must kill all the enemy. So, Sensible World of Soccer is not this game. <laughs> Cannon fodder is by Sensible Software. And it's pretty much all controlled by the mouse. And there's a nice little duck there. Right click to shoot. You don't really have an ammo limit. Left click to move. So, we'll head over here, spray and pray. We're gonna die very soon. Yep, not very good at this, are we? Can we, can we move? Yep, we got stuck there. Okay, one down. <laughs> Come join us. It's fun over here. There's lots of bullets. I don't think he's gonna join us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Who's next? And you've got to keep your head on a swivel here and use the mouse to kind of look ahead of you. I remember playing this back in the day and uh, it's exceedingly difficult. <laughs> Mission complete! Yes! Listen to that music. We did it! Heroes in victory. Mission one. So, who was heroic? Tell us. Jules was. And you know what happens to heroes? They get promoted. So, their rank goes up. I'm not entirely sure if that improves them or anything, but it's fun, you know. All right. Let's keep going until it gets horribly difficult. And we've got some more recruits. And obviously, if you blow through all the recruits, game over, you know. Onwards, virgin soldiers. Bridge over the river Pi. Ha <laughs> ha. It's a, it's a film reference. With three soldiers, you must kill all the enemy. And as you can see, we've 27 recruits now. So let's just go for it. And uh, this is the sensible... Oh. See him trying to get the jump on us there. See that? Sneaking through the river. How could you? And in addition to jewels and jobs... We now have Stu. Hello, Stu. There's probably a way to select, you know, grenades, flashlights, all that jazz. But uh, I'm just going to wander over here. Oh. Right. That's one down. Overwhelming force here. And you'll also note with the sound that it seems to only be able to play one thing at a time. So if you're shooting and you hit something and he goes, Ugh, then uh, your shots won't be heard. I don't think there's anything over here. Okay. Now, I don't trust this area. It's too open. Ah. Well, we did okay there. Um... 
Oh, no. I nearly messed up there. My hand isn't great with the whole mouse control thing, but we managed it. The problem appears to be that there's a river in our way. Now, is there anybody on the opposite bank? I don't think so. So we'll head over. Uh-oh. And we got them. So far. I'm just waiting for one to pop out of nowhere and surprise us. But this m this methodical style, there, there's a game called Commandos behind enemy lines where you uh, take control of a pile of soldiers and it's like uh, super stealth based and very tactical. This is more of a sort of arcade romp. You meant to sort of run through and shoot everybody dead like that. Yep, just you walk into our fire. That works for us. There's a guy there. Can we hit him? Yes. So the question now is who's left? Is there somebody down here? I don't see anyone. Do you? Maybe I'm just blind. And the bird doesn't count. You don't have to kill the bird. So where's this last guy? And this is a problem in old real-time strategies that this appears to share. And that is that you have to pixel hunt for that last enemy. There he is. Fee is complete! Yes! Well done, Stu. You did the job. Trash enemy headquarters. Kill all the enemy and destroy the enemy buildings. So we might have to use the grenades. Let's play this. And, oh my god. Hot opening. Did you see that? They were just swarming. But where do we go from here? This way, I guess? Well, those birds aren't going to get annoying. Suppressive fire! Not much going on there. Can change the angle, yes. And as you can see, the AI isn't up to much with those uh, soldiers. <laughs> he saw his buddy get shot, and he was like, eh, I never liked him anyway. Yep. Okay, they're down. Can we cross this river? Oh, there's somebody coming. All right. Now you're probably wondering, James, you're having great fun with this. Is this going to go to full 20? The answer is probably no. I'll probably get killed and stop. But if you're really interested in cannon fodder, and you, you, you look at this and you think, wow, these Brits were really up to something cool here. They knew, you know, arcade games. Uh, is that a dead body? Well, if it wasn't a dead body before, it's a dead body now. Uh, I hear shots. You hear shots, right? Are those people trying to get us? And they can't because the AI isn't good enough. Right, let, let's cross here. There's nothing but birds. Oh, we're behind a tree here. Need to get out in the open. Four. Just about dealt with him there. There's another one. I think he took enough hits there. I think he's down. <laughs> Right, we've made it this far. But yeah, if you're really interested in cannon fodder, don't play the PC version. This is a port. Sensible uh, software were uh, legendary for the games, but it wasn't for the PC that they were legendary. They, much like Blue Byte at the beginning, 
were uh, legendary Amiga uh, developers. And if you're gonna play Sensible World of Soccer, uh, not Sensible World of Soccer, I keep saying Sensible World of Soccer, same developer, you know. If you're gonna play Cannon Fodder, I suppose it applies to Sensible Soccer as well, though the port there is better. Play it on the Amiga. Don't play this version, it's, uh, it's not as good. Oh, a real swarm of people here. And look, there's a dead, dead guard there. That's not so good. And they're trying to shoot at us through the trees. Again, the AI struggling to deal with... Uh... Right, we need to take out that building, I think. Otherwise, they'll just keep spawning like that. Yep, look at that. They're just gonna keep coming out of it. Shoot the building! That works. And that's essentially the basics of cannon fodder. It's a mouse controlled, tactical, real time game where you take on an army of expendable soldiers, face overwhelming forces, and somehow come out the victor and get promoted in the process. But it's absolutely heartbreaking if you lose somebody that you've had constantly promoted throughout all the levels. Who would I recommend it for? Well, honestly, any fan of action games from a third person perspective or a top down perspective who doesn't mind the mouse controls would really enjoy cannon fodder. It's good fun. Um, I guess that's all, other than play the Amiga version, play the Amiga version, play the Amiga version. And if you like me talking about random DOS games, check out the hundreds of other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see there, you can always hit subscribe. Thank you for your service, gentlemen.